Hey guys, today uh, I'm going to show you uh, something which um, you know a lot of people forget and um, don't know how to do um, properly in Final Cut Pro 10, and that's how to export. It sounds silly, but yeah, exporting Final Cut Pro 10 needs some uh, settings changed. Uh, some of the default settings could lead to some problems in the final export file. So I'm just going to show you how to export in Final Cut Pro X. So this is open up Final Cut Pro, and you know, I'm just going to start a new project. So this is Command N to start a new project. And um, you have to click on Custom so you can actually change the um, settings and make everything, yeah, custom. And then once you got that, you got to change the rate. you got to have the format as 720p HD and resolution 1, 1280 by 720. And that would be perfect for YouTube. And so let's just name this um, Final Cut Tutorial. Okay, so now we need to change the rate to 30, 30p, um, and because that's really good for YouTube. I mean, if you want to export for YouTube, and the audio and render properties, you got to make sure it's Apple Pro resolution. I mean, not you don't have to make sure, but uh, you can make it to 422. That's really good audio, and you can leave these two uh, as default, and make sure you get the audio channels to be. Uh, stereo because surround will just have five audio channels and stereo will just be one on um, audio channel which is just good and now we just click OK and then uh, we have our clips so this is okay I'm just gonna drag any clips okay let's, let's drag this um, and that I don't know anything okay I just drag my Final Cut Pro review okay and then what I do is I need to go to share there's many settings here you can go share to YouTube directly um, there's different uh, settings you can do it to DVD. For this, I'm just going to go and export the movie. And this is something uh, you have to just make sure you have to do. Instead of going to export current settings, make sure, just definitely make sure that it's going to be in H.264. Because one of the mistakes, and what, if you don't do this, what happens is, if you have a really long video like mine, it would, believe, uh, I'm not kidding, it would actually be 5 gigabytes of file. It would be up to 5 or four gigabytes depending on how long your video is because uh, a 10 second intro if you don't change the settings could get up to 50 megabytes so it's, it's huge and it's really ridiculous and um, if you make it um, the current settings it would actually give no estimated time unknown but it will actually give a huge um, um, file size if you go to H2, H.264 the estimated uh, size would be 693.45 MB Okay, and this is a pretty big file. Uh, it's about six minutes, um, so yeah. And um, make sure this is something really silly, but make sure you include video and audio, or else you would have uh, an export file without any audio. Pretty silly, but yeah, just make sure you do that, and then you're done. Uh, just click next, and you have your file. Just choose where you want to save it, and you're done. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this um, video tutorial kind of. Uh, it's basically like a tip for file pro, file cut pro x there's a few more file cut pro uh, pro x um, tutorials coming up um and i i would like to know what you think of file cut pro x uh, in the comments box below thanks for watching